Welcome geometry students to class today on this Thursday the 28th. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're ready to review some math today for your test tomorrow. Uh, please get out your pens, pencils, calculators, books, and all that stuff. And let's get ready to write down some information that you will need for your test tomorrow. Uh, you will have a test tomorrow. If you are not aware of that, then you've not been listening this week. We do have a test tomorrow. Please study. Make sure you're ready for the test. Um, some of you turned in yesterday's homework. Uh, page 60, number 9, and 13 through 24, and 27 through 34. And then some of you need to turn it in now so you know who you are. Those of you that turned it in yesterday early, you're fine. Uh, those that did not turn it in, uh, please turn that in now at this time. Incompletes, here they are. Let's take a look at them here. Okay, uh, Jaden and Jordan, you have an assignment from Monday. Now, you were here Monday. Um, you were not here Tuesday to turn it in, and you were absent yesterday too. And I've heard through the grapevine, whether it's accurate, um, or inaccurate that you guys are sick I believe so I hope you're feeling better if you're in uh, class today I hope you're feeling better and I hope you guys are doing well and by the way um, if you guys did not take advantage of watching the classes uh, there at your house that is totally your fault okay let me say to the whole class right now this video class has its pros its positives and its negatives one of the positives is is when you miss class all that you have to do is, is go to teachem.com uh, forward slash geometry track two and type in geometry track two and the date you missed and all the information comes up that you need what videos to watch the announcements everything okay let me get a drink here real quick so I'm not criticizing anyone I'm just simply saying if you did not take advantage of that um, that is not good okay and so um, also, we were given an assignment on Wednesday, um, Jaden and Jordan, so you might want to ask your classmates about that, or actually it's right here. Uh, that's the assignment that was just up here, which is right here. And so this is also uh, needs to be done and turned in. Um, but as far as incompletes, um, that's it. Um, Hope and, and Jaron, I got your incompletes, so you guys are all good. Uh, moving on, uh, let's go over... Uh, the schedule for today we're going to go over some terms that will be on your test we've not done that yet so you're going to have to take some notes and write down some terms to study for tomorrow's test and you also need to work on the review sheet in class today and finish it by tomorrow and turn it in tomorrow um, please work hard on the review sheet it will prepare you for the test make sure that you can work all of the problems without any help from your notes in case you have forgotten the review sheet here it is page 43 numbers 13 through 39 all the name of the video is geometry chapter 1 review sheet and you should start the video fast forward it to the 3 <clears throat> 345 mark okay uh, let's see let's continue on here are some terms you're responsible for for tomorrow's test okay here they are now students please listen to me carefully and Mr. Hamill, I would not leave these terms up long enough on the screen uh, for the students to copy down the definitions. They should have all of this in your notes. If you try to leave this up long enough for them to copy all these definitions, it'll take too long. Students, all that you need to write in your notes is inductive reasoning, conjecture, counterexample, postulates, postulate one, postulate two, collinear points, and coplanar points, okay? Those are the things that you need to know um, for um, for your test tomorrow, okay? So go ahead and pause the video now, Mr. Hamill, for as much time that you think is necessary for them to not copy down the definitions, but just copy down these terms over here. All right, I'm going to continue on. Um, and here's some more terms that you need to know for your test tomorrow. They're going to be all fill in the blank. All of these will be fill in the blank. And again, uh, Mr. Hamill, I would pause the video long enough for them to copy the terms, not the definitions. They should have the definitions in their notes already, okay? Um, you should know uh, coplanar lines, postulate three. I'm not sure why I have postulate three up here twice. Just ignore that. Uh, coplanar lines, postulate three, postulate four, congruent segments, what an angle is, what congruent angles are, what an acute angle is, and what an obtuse angle is. So. Um, go ahead and pause the video, Mr. Hamill. Use your own judgment on that, and you can restart it again. I would not leave it up there long enough for them to copy the definitions. Um, you can if you want, but that takes a lot of time, and they need to work on their review sheets, okay? 
right, I'm going to continue on. And then here's the last two. Copy these two terms in your notes, if you would, please. Right angle and straight angle. You need to know those definitions. And of course, it'll be fill in the blank. Now, students, listen to me very carefully. Um, if some of you have been goofing around in class and not really paying attention, we're going to find out tomorrow because those that have worked hard and done their homework and, and listened and stayed on top of their notes, they're going to do fine on the test. And those that haven't, aren't. And I don't curve tests. And so it's, it is what it is. And so if you're going to do well in this class, um, it's not a difficult class and you guys are figuring that out. But no time, at no time did I ever say that you wouldn't have to work in this class. You're going to have to work, okay? Um, <clears throat> but it's not supposed to be a difficult class. And so um, when you're done, if you finish your review sheet early, don't talk. Find something to do. You've got history or science or English or something to work on. And how about this? If you finish your review sheet early, why don't you take these terms and their definitions and write them one or two or three times each? I mean, do something with your time that prepares you for your test tomorrow, okay? I mean, that's what a mature, um, hardworking student does. Um, that's basically it. I have a great day. Please study tonight for the test. Make sure you're ready for it. And contact me if you have any questions.